Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, here is Van Amsen and with another live coding session. Today we have an engaging problem that's going to test our uh, array traversal skill and condition check. So ready to dive deep, let's get started. The problem at hand is titled check monotonic array. Now, what does monotonic means? In simple term, an array is monotonic if it's either entirely non-decreasing, so uh, increasing for is, or non-increasing, so then uh, it's uh, decreasing. And our task is to figure out if a given array falls into one of these uh, categories. So, for instance, uh, let's look at uh, example. Uh, so, uh, here we have 1, 2, 2, 3, and output is uh, true. Uh, so, if we look, it's uh, increasing because we have one, two, two, three, and uh, this array is going to be like this. So it's uh, monotonically increasing, so output is uh, true. Same with uh, the second example, so given six, five, uh, four, four, it will be, uh, yeah, from this, it will be uh, decreasing. So like this, this, and uh, this. So output is also true because it's, uh, it's uh, decreasing. And uh, if we have uh, other types of array, for example, uh, like this one, case one, three, two, so output is false. Why? Because it's uh, increase, then decrease. So it's uh, neither increasing nor uh, decreasing. Okay, uh, so now uh, the question arises how do we? do this in the most efficient way and determine the nature of an array. So let's think uh, this uh, through. So our initial uh, approach could be uh, to uh, decide the direction the array seems to be taking at the start. And if it starts by increasing, we will expect it to continue that way. And if we find any dips, uh, then it's not monotonic. Uh, similarly for uh, decreasing. So uh, let's start coding this logic. So first, uh, if our array has less than two elements, it's always uh, monotonic. So we return uh, true. If len num less than two, return true. So it's uh, one of the uh, edge cases. And uh, now let's introduce a variable called uh, direction. Uh, and this will help us uh, keep track uh, of the array trend. So zero means we haven't decided yet. Uh, one indicates increasing and minus one for uh, decreasing. So direction will be zero. Zero means unknown. One means Increasing minus one means decreasing. And for i in range one to len uh, nums, so we will uh, traverse uh, the array for every pair of uh, consecutive elements. We will uh, determine uh, if the array seems to be increasing, decreasing, or neither. And if we have already decided on a direction, and the array awaits it, we instantly uh, know our uh, answer. So let's implement it as well. So if num greater than uh, num i minus one, increasing, if direction equals zero, direction will be one, and else direction minus one and return false. And else, if it's uh, decreasing, and if direction was zero, then direction will be minus one. And else, direction will be 
one and return false. And finally, we return true if we traverse and uh, didn't uh, return uh, false. So, uh, perfect. So it seems uh, our logic is finished. Now let's uh, get it into the test by running the uh, same test cases we previously mentioned. So uh, case number one, true, second, uh, true as well, because it's decreasing and third is false. Uh, okay, so now let's test it for unsynthesized cases as well to verify it's working. So yes, it's uh, working and uh, yeah, we beat 95, 58% uh, with respect to memory. So it's quite memory efficient and also 58% uh, with respect uh, to memory. Also, if you uh, run it uh, one more time, sometimes uh, yeah, the distribution of runtime could be uh, slower or uh, faster. So this is just approximation. I think I got uh, 812 milliseconds with uh, same code previously. Yes, I can even yeah, check it. So yeah, then it was beating 78, but uh, basically it's a quite optimal solution. Uh, and uh, it seems our logic is working just right. And rem uh, remember, this is Python solution, and uh, we will provide in the description code in other languages like uh, Go, Rust, C++, and uh, much more. So you can uh, explore uh, nuances in your uh, preferred uh, languages. So uh, do check them out. And before we wrap up, let's discuss the complexity. So we are traversing the array once, so the time complexity is just O n, and since uh, we uh, are not using any additional uh, significant memory, our space complexity is O one, so uh, constant. So quite efficient, isn't it? So today we didn't just solve a problem; we journeyed through the web of an array understanding in uh, yeah and pattern. And that's the beauty of coding. It's not just about getting the right answer, it's about enjoying the process. So if you found this session insightful, uh, do give it a thumbs up, share, and don't forget to subscribe for more coding adventure and keep those uh, neurons uh, firing. And remember, uh, keep practicing, stay motivated, happy coding, and see you next time.